guys i am back today to um, do a quick review on the chanel dead sandal and the Hermes cypress sandals so these two sandals are the most popular sandals um, you know lately and um, the reason i'm doing this review because i have been hold off on the chanel you know dead sandals for quite some time because um, they are pretty pricey and uh, being me i don't like to spend um, i love designer luxury things but i feel like sandals should not be you know costly too much therefore i've been hold off on this even though i have been loving it every time i see them um, someone wearing them i just love love the way they look and they look very comfortable but anyhow um, when Hermes came out the cybrat sandal i decided to get them because Hermes sandal is about half price you know cheaper than the uh, depth sandals so i got this pair back last year and i wore them a lot as you can see it has been you know used and uh, and love um, and then somewhere around the end of last year i decided i you know still wanted the dead sandal because they look similar but they are not that similar and i will tell you why um, i reached out to my sales associate and asked him if he can keep an eye on a dead sandal in my size and then about around november december he um, texted me and said, yes, I have a death sandal, you know, in your oh. size, would you want it? So I, you know, I want it and he shipped it to me. So now I have both sandals on my hand and I would like to do a quick review. With you. I did the unboxing video, but I haven't uploaded that video yet. Um, I will upload it later, but I just want to get this comparison video out first because uh, right now my other sales associate has reached out to me and they also have a few pair of the dead sandals available and i just want to see if you guys uh, who want who've been looking to get the dead sandals i can tell you that right now if you reach out to your chanel sales associate they might be able to get them for you because that sandal is really really hot items it's sold out really really quick um you know i know from my own you know experiences so if you are into that sandal and you want to uh, see how it you know how they how they wear uh, how comfortable they are that's why i want to do this review so if you still on the edge of getting them you can make up uh, your mind and uh, decide to get them or not that's why i will give out this video before i upload the uh, unboxing video on this that sandal all right so let's get to it I will talk about the size and price first. Let's talk about size first. So they both are very different when it comes to sizes. So for the Cypress sandal, according to my review and, and according to my own um, experience, they are running small, at least half size small. So I purchased this pair in my size and to be honest with you um, when I wear them my feet a little you know came out a little bit so if I got if I would you know going to get another pair I would probably gonna ask for maybe half size bigger so that is the Hermes uh, Cybrat sandals it's run small at least half size smaller and then and then if your feet are you know long then you probably want one side bigger but for the chanel that sandal depend on the years that you get them so this year is supposed to be the 23c i don't have the box with me but this is the oh actually i do have the box here so what is they revolving but i just got this one um, you know when the 23c launch which means is this is the newest model for this year so according to this i can tell you that it's run about half size bigger and even myself so say told me that because when i asked him to um, you know look out for a pair for me and then i asked him how are they runs he was like 
this year they run a little bit large so you might want to get half size smaller so i told him to keep an eye on two sizes for me my regular size and then one size smaller as he advised but my regular size is still not available until now so when he got this one half size smaller he reached out to me and i you decide you get them the worst case scenario is if they were not fit then i can return them right but turn out they fit me perfectly i will show you the video that i wear both of the sandals so for you to see um all right and because of that i just want to let you know that if you were to get this that sandal from this um season 23c um, again i said this season because this is for 23c launch but because of this that sandal is a classic it's revolving so every year is um came out this style therefore on the box it say rev which means revolving every year they're coming out the same style so they don't have uh, it's, they are not special item or seasonal items however based on my research um 2021 series or 2000 early 2022 uh, you know both 2021 and 2022 pre spring and summer those sandals are run one or half size smaller whereas this year is run half size bigger at least on my experience and on according to my sa opinion so if you were to get them from the resellers you probably want to ask them are they run big or small you know what year this sandal came from all right so that's the size price the price is for this Chanel, that sandal is crazy. Um, <laughs> I wanted them since they first came out, which is, you know, a few years back, and it was only 1000 um, I think, $1,100 something. And then in 2021, that's when I really wanted, wanted them. It's what, uh, $1,250. But then at that point, I still didn't want to my you know, shopping box has not uh, got into me yet. So I still didn't shop until last year. That's when I shopped. And I think from that, from last year until now, the price has gone up to $1,550. So, I mean, don't quote me on that. Maybe last year before the price increase is probably a little bit cheaper, but I was not looking for them. So I did not know exactly how much, but I know that in 2021, the price around twelve hundred dollars, but I did not get them then. But this pair right here that I just got from myself, so say directly from Chanel Boutique, is one thousand five hundred fifty dollars, which is a lot for me for sandals. I normally would not splurge myself on a pair of sandal, uh, you know, this expensive, but because it keep popping in my mind. I keep wanting the same thing, so finally I decided to splurge. So this is the first really expensive pair of sandals that I have. <laughs> I don't mind to splurge on, you know, boots and, and and all the stuff, handbags and things, but I never like to spend, you know, too much um, on sandals. I feel like they will wear out very quick. But looking at this sandal, I can tell you, they, the craftsmanship on this is really, really good. So I, I think that I will have this one for many years to come. But anyway, we talk about the quality in a little bit. Now, so we're done with side price. Let's move to the, the um, you know, the, uh, the fit, the lifestyle for this two sandals, okay? They both look very casual and you can wear them casually with shorts, jeans, Caprice pants, um, they both would work for that. However, the Chanel sandal, you can even dress it up with dresses. I will put some massage um, that I found online when you know people wear them with their summer dresses. Very, very cute. And I think because of the true logo here and also the, with the strap somehow, this look more dressier than the Hermes Cybers. So because I got them back in, um, in almost uh, late November, 
I have not had a chance to wear them outside yet, but it, you know, for the sake of this review, I have been wearing them around the house. So, you know, the sole is still really clean because we have the policy no shoe in our house. So our floor are very, very clean. Therefore, even though I wear them around the house, using them as a, uh, you know, slipper, just to, you know, have the uh, experience on the quality and the comfort to give you this video. So for saying that, I prefer the Chanel. For saying that, the price, I would prefer Hermes Cypress because the price is a lot more affordable. It's $770 for this pair right now on the retailer price, whereas for the Dead Sandal, it's $1,540. Let's go to the next one is um, the comfort level, okay? Now, like I said, I have been wearing this <coughs> Hermes Cypress many, many times during the summer. And I can tell you that um, for the first few times, it's a little bit uh, uncomfortable, but it's not that uncomfortable where I get blister or, you know, uh, bruises. I, I didn't get any of those, no blister, no bleeding, no scratch, no nothing. However, it was a little uncomfortable just because the sole is very, very um, stiff. So Hermes has used a really structure solid leather to make um, the sole and also the on the top too the leather is pretty stiff so when i first wear them i kind of have to you know move it around my feet has to move it around in you know inside to make sure i don't um you know scratch my feet against the leather because i afraid i may get blister however it never happened i didn't get any blister and eventually it became so comfortable and now i can tell you that i love love the feel when i'm wearing this uh, pair i don't feel any any discomfort or anything like that so the comfort level i would rate this one nine out of ten one point off for you know for you to get used to the way it wear and also because there's no strap on the bottom and, you know, on the back of the shoe so sometimes i feel like uh, my feet can be pushed back and that is the only negative about this pair whereas with the chanel um that sandal on my first try i already feel it's very comfortable i did not feel the stiffness even though when i use my hand and touch it it's still a very solid and stiff leather, but somehow it's it's a lot you know soft softer than the Cypress sandal, and even on the first try, I can tell the difference between this two. Uh, like when I first try the Irma sandal, like I say, it's stiff. I don't feel the you know comfortable, but with the dead sandal right on the first try, I feel very comfortable, but for the sake of this movie, I continue to wear them inside the house for the past, you know, two days before I decide to make this video. And I did not feel any discomfort at all with this, that sandal. Um, and every time I wear literally throughout the day when I do housework, walk around the house, um, pretty decent amount of time I spend on this, this pair and I did not find any discomfort. In fact, I feel very comfortable and I feel like I can wear this pair walking without any problems. So for the comfort level, the Chanel Dead Sandal 1, 10 out of 10. Now, the quality, durability, I cannot say for sure. I probably will wait for next year to do one year review because this one I have had um, this pair for about eight, nine months, so I can vow for it. It's very quality. As you can see, I wear it a lot, but both the bottom and the, the insole and the top, they are still very, very good condition. I don't see any scratch, any damage on the leather at all. I can tell you um, Hermes craftsmanship is just like handbag. It's awesome. It's great quality. I don't think 
um, I can wear out this uh, cyber sandal anytime soon. It's my, you know, lasted 10, 15 years without any problem. They both can be adjustable, right? Oh, one thing about the feet I forgot to mention earlier. I don't, one thing I don't like about the cyber sandal is on the top of the sole, you know, this part right here. For me, it's a little bit uncomfortable because I feel like my feet is too narrow for this, for this part. I just feel like my my toe keep, um, you know, automatically expanded, try to fit in, you know. Um, but then I'm thinking if I get one size smaller to have the top fit my feet perfectly, then it's gonna be too short for my, you know, for the length of my foot. Therefore, this is the part that Hermes should, um, I don't know, make us uh, more fitted for customer because my feet are not wide, wide feet. However, they they can be wider, uh, you know, in, in some shoe. They are not narrow feet for sure. So uh, yeah, so that is one thing that I feel Hermes should improve on the sandals. Whereas for Chanel, the feet is perfect. Uh, for me, I feel perfectly fit, you know, the width of my feet as long uh, and, and um, the the length of the, the foot. They both are, you know, perfect and I didn't feel any discomfort at all. Zero with the Chanel um, pairs. All right, so like I say, the wear and tear, the quality, I could not vow for the Chanel because I just got them, literally just got them. But my thinking is they might not last it as long as, you know, as the Hermes uh, Cypress, because look at this. As you can see, there are so many stitching to make this letter, right? And when there are stitching, which mean is there might be loose stitch, you know, over time. Um, the stitching will be loose over time. Therefore, I think that this probably will be less durable than the Cypress. But again, that's only my prediction, my guess, right? I would not know. Let's see, I will do another review on this two sandal a year from now, because right now I do like this Cypress sandal that I might want to get another pair in white color. I would gladly to get another pair in Chanel, that sandal in, different color but uh, I don't want to pay the price because technically this one is half price cheaper this one is uh pricing yeah pricing yes all right so let's go with the um, personal you know preference for me between the two mm, like I say I would get another pair in different color with the Cypress now both of them are very hard to find if you eyeing them you probably have to let yourself so say no so they can like, try to put um, your name on the you know on the list because it's not like you can go in the store and get you know either pair either pair um but uh, for me i probably will have myself so say look out for a different color in this cypress um you know sandals with the chanel i still have to think about it because um like i said the price is a it's a little stiff but between the two if i don't put the price in consideration i would go with the chanel in a heartbeat i would want to purchase i don't know three pair uh three more pair four more pairs in chanel i would prefer chanel over this uh Hermes sandal because every time i look at this pair of chanel on my feet it's make my heart happy um it's like <laughs> i don't know it's like a unicorn piece it's so pretty to look at it's so comfortable uh, but yeah but when uh, thinking about the price make me hesitate and don't want to get another pair but uh, between the two pair you you could not go wrong with neither um, the cybrat sandal very very casual very cool looking very nice sandal the quality is great but if you want a little bit girly look um, a little bit uh, dressy look, then you might want to go with a Chanel. I would love to have another pair in Chanel, but in order to do that, I might have to give up something, you know, in my collection. Maybe sell some other pair of shoes that I haven't used for a long, long time. 
you get the fun you fund me on my uh, another you know that sandals because I don't want you just pet you know outright I feel they are way way overpriced just for a pair of sandals all right guys that be all for today thank you so much for stop by and review this video with me i hope you have a great day and i will see you in my next video bye for now